when you're onto them. The narcissist does this. When you start to figure them out, this is what they will do. From the moment you met the narcissist, they deceived you. They gave you a false impression. They told you whatever they thought you wanted to hear. They showed you whatever they thought you wanted to see. Because they knew that it would help to secure you as their source of supply. But they knew that they weren't about any of that. It was designed to mislead you. It was designed to bring you into their realm. Which is somewhere you would not normally be if they didn't conceal who they really are. Which is why they had to wear a mask. They had to disguise themselves. They had to pretend to be something else so that you wouldn't run away at the first opportunity. This is how narcissists manage to trap their targets. This is how they bring them into their world. By posing as something that they know they're not. But if they can fool you, that's all that matters to them. Narcissists do not value authenticity. Their false image is a means for them to get what they want. They can only conceal who they really are for a certain amount of time. It's only a matter of time until their mask slips because narcissists are high conflict people. They're always scanning the environment for threats. They're always reacting to their emotions. So it's only a matter of time until you experience conflict when you are around a narcissist. They have poor conflict resolution skills. They don't know how to deal with these situations. Their main objective is to dodge any accountability or shame. So when you're onto the narcissist, they will blame you. They will hold you accountable for the consequences of their actions. They will project their insecurities onto you. When you are on to the narcissist, you may think that their game is coming to an end, but really, it's only the beginning. That is when the games really start. Because they're not going to accept it. In their minds they haven't done anything wrong. In their minds you're the one who is fake. You deceived them. they're not going to accept that their false self isn't real. Because to a narcissist, that's like death. A narcissist is never going to choose their source of supply over their false self. They abandoned who they really are a long time ago. 
but they will hold on to their false self a dear life because in their minds it's perfect it can't do anything wrong it's a coping mechanism and a defense mechanism for their true self it's an adaptation to a hostile environment in childhood and it is a set of manipulation skills that they have perfected over time so this is one game that you cannot win because when you're trying to expose them for what they really are they're in a fight for their lives it's a life or death situation for them because their false self is all they have left so they will fight tooth and nail to defend their false self They will break every moral code to protect it. They will lie, cheat or steal. They will do whatever it takes. Because they cannot deal with accountability. They cannot deal with the shame. Which is why they abandoned their true self in the first place. Because they felt like it was bad or not good enough. And when you confront their false self, you're bringing up all of those emotions that they've done everything to avoid reflecting on. They're shame-based people who will do anything to avoid reflecting on their shame. Which is why when you're onto them, they may try to evade you initially. But at some point, the mask is just going to come all the way off. At some point, they're going to show you who they really are. When they realize there's no point in hiding. When they realize you've got their number. Because at that point, they have nothing to lose. You know their game. You know what they're about. So they're going to show you who they are while still maintaining their false image for anyone who believes in it. That is when they will go all out to destroy your reputation. They will try to get everyone to see you the way they want you to be seen, which is actually just a projection of how they see themselves. Because they're just abandoning these characteristics of themselves that they don't like, and assigning them to you. like when a snake sheds its skin but now they want you to wear it they want you to carry the burden of everything that they are responsible for while they're displaying their false character to everyone else who is susceptible to it so that they look like this kind caring person who did the best they can the same character that they display to you when you first met them. While they try to get everyone to see you as everything that you later discovered in them. They are illusionists. They are masters of manipulation. Not because they're smart, but because they've done this so many times. They know the game inside out. They know what they have to do to produce their desired effect. Which is why there's no point playing the game. There's no point trying to expose them. There's no point confronting them. Just let it be enough that you know their true nature. And let your character speak for itself. Rather than convincing everyone that you were the victim of a narcissist. Eventually, the narcissist will hang themselves. They will shoot themselves in the foot. They can't help themselves. They can't deal with accountability. They can't deal with the shame. So they always have to blame someone else 
for whatever unfortunate situation they found themselves in, which is the result of their own actions. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.